Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. Today we're farming Whisper. And the reason why Whisper is so decent, or so good I should say, or it's probably the best uh, monster egg group Pokemon that you could farm, it is... So if we're checking like 31 attack monster egg group Pokemon, and we find that like even the females go for a lot, like, and then you get the ditto. So, like, look, even the females go for, like, 8k. And the males go for, like, a little bit more than that. So, and then Wismer, you can obviously catch with just a Pokeball. And so we're going to be catching a bunch of Wismer, female and male. I've got my army of Brelooms here. I have six of them. So, should not have any trouble catching all these guys. And I'm going to keep track of all the numbers. And then I'm going to get back to you. Um... When I'm done with the one hour, we're going to count up the Pokemon, count up how much money I can make. And so we're going to be starting now. It is 4.40 p.m. And we're going to be going until uh, 5.40 p.m., so one hour later. This is the Wismer Cave, uh, the Rust Turf Tunnel, I guess it's called. But yeah, basically we're just going to run back and forth in here. And it's like pretty much 100% Wismer. Um, unfortunately, I got a Horde here. Um, I don't really want to deal with Horde. So I'm going to be running from the hordes. And we're just going to be catching Wismer in here. And super low level. They're really easy to catch. Um, false Swipe and Spore, actually, you have to False Swipe and Spore these guys because the catch rate is just low enough to where just False Swipe isn't enough. And so that's why I do have Berlooms here. Is I'm going to be False Swiping and Sporing these guys. And then I'm just going to be throwing a Pokeball. And I'll be right back in one hour. All right, my one hour is up, and I'm just gonna pick. I'm just gonna catch this one last Wismer, and then we'll see how many I caught. Um, so I also found a broom cookie, which is really interesting. Um, just by catching these guys, and I found a repel and a Pokeball, so you can sometimes pick up items even though you don't have a Pokemon. Um, I didn't really know that before, but uh, kind of interesting nonetheless. Also, some of these Wismers hold Chesto Berries, so they'll wake up from your sleep. But okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. Use an escape rope really quick. I also have the big Ocarina, but oh well. All right, let's see. I caught a full box and seven, so 67 Pokemon. Let's sort by gender and see... Okay, we caught a few more males. Okay, we caught like uh, six or seven more males than females, which is really, really great because usually males sell for more. Anyways, I'm going to count these guys up, do some price checking and stuff, and I'll be right back with the numbers. Alrighty, I do have the numbers for you guys. Um, if you look at this here, we got 33 male Wismers that are only worth the base price for male Wismer, which if you look at it, actually, is worth more than I thought. We're looking at just regular males in the Monster Egg group. And we're looking at 2,500. And some of these are up, like, for 3,000. So definitely, if you were trying to sell these for maximum profit, you'd be getting 3,000 for them. So I counted these as 2,000 for each of them. So right there, that's 66k. And then I've got all these 31 IV Pokemon. And here's the numbers that I calculated for these. And so I've got all these ones, which are defensive um, Wismers, and I calculate them to go for about 8k, or no, five, uh, 6k. But after the listing fee, you'll make 5k off them. And I've got seven of them, so that's worth 35k. Then this one will sell for about 4k, but after the listing fee, we're looking at 3k. And these four is what, 10k, 8k, 9k, and 10k, right, after listing fee. So all this is calculated after listing fee. And then this one, I calculated to sell for about 15k because it's got such good stats. It's 20 plus and everything. And this one, being that it's adamant and also 20 plus in the stats that it needs, also being male, is worth about 20k. So adding all that up, uh, we can sell the actual valuable Wismers for about 103k. And then the males, of course, are 66k. And so when we add these up, and then we subtract the 13,000 I spent on Pokeballs, because it only takes one Pokeball to catch each one of them, 
and we're looking at we're making 156,000 per hour. So not horrible, but not great, of course. I don't think I really got that lucky in this hour because I didn't get any 2x31 Wismers. I did get more males, which is nice, but no 2x31s, which I would expect to get at least one of those. Um, anyways, if you guys liked the video, please hit that like button. If you really enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. And let me know in the comments what you think of this money-making strategy, or let me know of any that I could try in the future. Otherwise, that's it for me, and I'll see you in the next one.